Hey guys, welcome back to another Cars Diecast presentation. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new 2024 Cruz Ramirez hauler that I found at my local Walmart store for $17.97. That's how much all the haulers cost at your Walmart stores. So, synopsis about the story is that last weekend I was looking for this hauler at the same Walmart where I found her. Well, last weekend they didn't have her on the shelf. So, and they had barely any cars diecasts available. So I'm like, what's going on? Until I realized that there are some cars items on clearance. So I had to wait a little bit. So a week later, returned to the exact same Walmart, and there she is. There she was. And I'm like, it's worth the wait. So let's take a look at the back of the package, showing you a picture of Cruz Ramirez coming out of her trailer. And it doesn't show you any of the other haulers available. Usually, the back of hauler packages includes other haulers that are currently available, but this time, this one doesn't. And the thing about the Cruz Ramirez hauler is that she never appeared in the movie. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this truck all opened up. There she is, out of the box. She is a 1 to 55 scale die cast, once again, made by Mattel. So, to be clear, only the front portion is metal, but the top here and the trailer are all plastic and no stickers, not like the older haulers. One thing I do like about this hauler is that the blue Dynaco 51 and the Stegosaurus. I mean, look at that. It's glossy. I mean, when you shine the light on it, when the light reflects on the, the blue detailing, it's all light blue. But when you take it away from the light, it looks dark blue. You know what I mean? So, about the cruise hauler is that she first debuted way back in 2018 as a playset. Let me compare her to the 2018 playset counterpart. And look at look at her. She's bigger. Probably nearly twice the length as the diecast version. And the blue detailing. Yeah, this looks like the blue the blue detailing doesn't doesn't it's not glossy it doesn't like change shades of blue or anything but I think I like the die cast one more take a look at the wheels here the wheels are a bit darker shade of blue but yeah I really really like this one like the what I like the way the light shines on the the blue detailing Take a look at her facial expression. She's got she got a nice smile with the usual background character, brown eye color. Either it's brown or hazel, but in the headlights, all printed, no stickers. I mean with the playset version, I mean it as I unboxed her that one of her sticker headlights was already peeling off and a lot of other cars fans or collectors have complained about that so and I did not like that either so notice here that she's got like a little side vent right here and here's the back back of the trailer with the Dynaco logo and Got a license plate that says Tegs Gas V0315T and underneath it says like the Lone Car State because Cruz Ramirez is actually from Texas. She had a Texas license plate before she became a racer. 
So here's the bottom base. It says made in Vietnam, like all other haulers nowadays. They're used, they used to be made in China, but now they're made in Vietnam. And once again, all haulers, you can only find them at Walmart. You cannot find them in any other retailer stores like Target or Kroger stores or Fred Meyer in my case, since I live in the Pacific Northwest. The hauler is detachable. So we've got just the die cast truck or tractor. Do the wheels squeal? No, they don't. Amazing. The wheels actually don't squeal. I mean, with my other haulers, other next gen haulers like the Gail Boffer Jackson Storm hauler, her wheels are definitely squeaky and it, so bad it hurts my ears. And it's like, do I need to apply some WD 40 on those wheels? Because I don't think it's good for your toy either. And something I noticed here is that there's like little red arrows underneath, like telling you like where, like, like to lift, like telling you where to lift the car to change the tires. But I don't know why they put it on the trucks. Do the other next gen haulers have those? The hauler does open up so you can put Cruz Ramirez inside the trailer. And you can just close it up and then she's off to her next race. The inside of the trailer looks nice. The only thing that really is a paper sticker is just a little detailing featuring like a spare tire and the tool cart and all the equipment that she needs for her pit crew to change the tires, etc. All the equipment she needs for her race. Her grill is similar to the other next gen haulers except Jackson Storms, but the only difference that I'm seeing is that comparing her to the next gen bumper save racer is that the grills, I mean the bars on the grills are totally different. Like on the bumper save hauler, they are vertical, but on the Cruises hauler, they're horizontal, and obviously different from Gail Boffert, aka Jackson Storm's hauler, because Jackson's hauler is a unique model. So Cruises hauler does not squeak, but Jackson's hauler, oh my goodness, yeah, this is bad. Definitely need to apply some WD-40 on that. Well guys, this wraps up for this review, so thank you for stopping by. Feel free to hit the bell, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Cars content. Thank you and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.